Alright, what's up SEO pros? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm here with Darren. He is a local SEO uh, pro now after taking the recent program that I was uh, doing with live classes. And today we're going to be talking about how he was able to rank uh, in just a couple weeks for New Haven electricians here after taking the classes. And uh, <clears throat> Darren, thanks for coming on, man. No, thanks for having me, Chase. So I just wanted to ask, um, you know, first of all, what was, uh, how hard was this for you? Was it super difficult? Like, tell me the story. What's, what's the story behind this? The story behind the class? No, it wasn't super hard at all. I mean, you, you were very clear with um, your instructions and it was just really a question of, you know, just doing what you told us to do. And I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't uh, go off the path at all. I just did exactly what you did, you know, using your, your keyword um, spreadsheet there, found the keyword and just set it up and, and just did what you, what you told us to and, and it works. So <clears throat> let's look at the website. Actually, let me share my screen with you so you can see it, Darren, because you're not seeing anything okay. I'm, uh, I'm doing right now. Uh, here we go. Can you see it? It's coming in now. Yep, I see it. Cool. So obviously this is the, the GMB ranking. Uh, organically, Darren's not really anywhere, but that's because it's a brand new website. When you set up a brand new website, it takes a little while to marinate. Um, you can't just expect it to rank very, very quickly. Even the web design site in Colorado that I have uh, took a couple months before it got uh, on the first page organically. But the cool thing is if you do um, what we talked about in the program with the GMB optimization, everything that we did, building the citations, uh, you can get it to rank very quickly in the maps, which is actually arguably the most important place uh, because that's where people, most people are going to go. They're going to go to the GMB. So we're going to go to the website, I'll show you what we set up or what Darren set up. And this is actually, uh, the way he set this up was, was really just based off how we set up all of our websites, all of our local websites. We have the big heading tag with the exact match keywords at the top. We got the, um, the button with the you know, call to action above the fold, name and email, request to call back. We got the services in the, in the, in the uh, middle part uh, so we can actually get some semantic sort of uh, juice into our ranking system. We want, want Google to pick up all our different services on our homepage. Um, we're going to go in a little bit more detail, but before we do, I just want to mention really quickly because I totally forgot. Uh, the classes that uh, I did with Darren and a few other people, we had about 70 people and join the first local classes. Um, we're doing a sequel. And so in the sequel, we're doing the authority hacking. It's closing in three days, the er enrollment. And we're going to do some more live Zoom training. Trainings, we're about to do about eight of them. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually, once you have your local site ranking, which by the way, if you get this, you're going to get the, the recordings for the local. Uh, what's going to happen is you're also going to be able to uh, rank nationally and drive a bunch of authority to the website nationally. Um, hey, Darren, do you, yeah. so just out of curiosity, because I never really asked you, uh, for the local, you, you pretty much feel like you got that down, right? Like you, do you, do you understand like how all of this works pretty easily now, right? I do, yeah. But from a national perspective, do you have any idea how you're going to end up like ranking all this stuff? Like uh, for, mm -hmm. you know, big like keywords? No, I don't. I don't at all. Okay. So ideally what we're going to do, I'll give you a sneak peek, is we're gonna, we, we redid the audit system. And so there used to be all these phases and everything for the audits. And now what we're doing is we're just doing simple, uh, simple changes, and it's basic, basically based on priority. Um, and this is what we're going to actually be covering in the authority in the authority hacking. But basically, what you do is you make sure all your basic stuff set up, like your analytics, um, that there isn't anything crazy going on, like you know the SSL certificate needs to be installed, all that kind of stuff. Page speed needs to be fast. And the cool thing about this. The way, the way I'm setting this up is anything that somebody doesn't know how to do in here, let's say they're just like, dude, I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Every single one of these, we're, we're linking to a service on the website. I'm hiring people, one specific person to do each of these things. So it's like, oh, I don't know how to do the page speed. Okay, I'll just pay you know 300 bucks. I'll get it done. So everything in here is going to be um, plug and play where it's like, oh, I, I don't want to do this. And then you can either learn to do it yourself. There's going to be tutorials in each part. We're going to put with the authority hacking program. Um, or there's obviously, uh, you, or you could just get the service if you don't want to do it. Uh, but the next part, which actually goes into the keyword research um, and you know getting the national stuff to rank, it's all based off user engagement. So kind of we we kind of brushed on this earlier in the local, 
about how you're going to take, you know, all these different things that you set up and you're going to try to drive as much engagement to the traffic as possible or to the website as possible. Um, and so <clears throat> even just this video, by the way, Darren, uh, the people watching this video, they're going to go, obviously, a lot of people are going to go over. I bet you if you check your analytics right now, um, if they're even set up, I'm not sure if they are or not. But if you check them out, yeah. likely you're going to have a bunch of real time visitors right now looking at the website going, oh, you know, let me click on this. Let me see what Chase, what, what Darren did here, uh, you know, and it's going to help get your engagement metrics up for this website so that it basically looks more credible to Google. And so that's sort of the principle that we're going to be talking about in the new classes is how to not just, you know, build a nice website. This looks you know great, by the way. Um, but to also uh, build content for a bigger audience, like for instance, um, you know, uh, anybody who wants to learn how to remodel their kitchen with better lighting or something, and take that ranking, whether it's on like a YouTube video, a Facebook, wherever it is, Facebook post, as long as you're able to drive traffic, that's all that matters. And so you create a content marketing strategy for like three main platforms. And, uh, you know, my main platforms are obviously, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Google. Um, and so what we're going to have uh, you do and anybody else who's joining is you're going to go in, you're going to actually take uh, uh, your website, your local website or whatever, whatever website you create in the future. And you're going to um, start driving national traffic to it by targeting easy keywords, low difficulty keywords. That work, I'm going to show you guys how to identify. And then you're going to create opt ins for them. So, like, we could have, you know, the electrician handbook or something, right? Or something simple that somebody can pick up in a blog post or wherever they're at. They download it, and then we get them into our system where they're going and engaging with whatever we want. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, what's going to end up happening for this website as Darren works on it more when we get more national traffic coming in is he's going to start getting these opt ins. So, like, we're going to end up adding a blog over here, uh, Darren. It's going to say okay. blog. And then it's going to, we're going to target low difficulty, like 0 to 10 difficulty. Um, they're very easy to rank, by the way. Anything that's a low difficulty on Google, you can almost guaranteed rank as long as you order enough content or as long as you get enough content. Same thing with YouTube. So you could take an article on here, bring it over to YouTube, uh, take basically everything that's said in the article and rehash it on YouTube. Um, you don't even have to do the video. Somebody else could do it. You could turn it into a whiteboard video. Uh, there's all kinds of services that you can use. We even have that service on the website, um, whiteboard animation. You can just take your blog, whatever you're trying to rank on, on Google, bring it over to YouTube, and then you can rank it on YouTube as well. That, but the idea is, is you're just trying to get traffic um, as soon as possible uh, to whatever you're trying to rank. And then you're basically taking all the traffic you get from different things and you're funneling it to one main opt-in, like the electrician handbook, right? Or whatever it is, the you know remodeling handbook, whatever you're trying to give away. And then once you get people opting in for this, I still can't spell electrician. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. As, as soon as you uh, get those opt-ins for that, we have a system that we're, we kind of talked about briefly in the local, where you, you take anybody who grabs whatever you're getting, so they, they grab the handbook, they opt in and then what you do is you ask them for a review and you go, hey, uh, I saw you got the handbook. Can you go leave a review on my whatever? Um, and it doesn't, and, and so the secret sauce here is it doesn't have to be um, just like a Facebook, I mean, it doesn't have to just be like a GMB where they're leaving reviews. You could have somebody go comment on a blog you're trying to rank or a service. Um, you could have them go, you know, engage with a YouTube video you're trying to rank. So you're just basically trying to get as, as many opt-ins as possible so you can create all this engagement. And then once you have a, a fair audience, let's say you have like two or 3,000 people opting into whatever you have, um, what's going to happen is now anything that you make that's new, like for instance, this video I'm making right now that's new, I'm going to go send this off to those people. I'm going to go ask them to go engage with it. And then it ends up because of the, I have a large audience, it ends up ranking it very well. And this is kind of the secret to ranking anything on Google. Um, does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So instead of me keep talk, uh, talking about all the stuff we're going to end up doing, um, let me ask you, Darren, like what is the biggest takeaway you got from all of this besides the rankings? The biggest takeaway was um, let me ask going through the steps, you know, it's, it's, and what you did for us was that you, you know, you just kind of laid out the path for us and said, if you walk this path, walk this path, 
you will have success. And so I, you know, I trusted you and I went ahead and I did that. And it is, so if the biggest takeaway would be like, put the system in place. And I think you even mentioned this in one of the classes, uh, get the system down and, and, and just follow it and just, you know, wash, rinse and repeat, as they say, I guess. Um, so yeah. Awesome. What I'm going to do. And then would you give any advice to anybody who's like looking to do something similar? Like, you know, if they wanted to rank locally or if they wanted to, um, you know, kind of get like a case study or, you know, all the stuff that we covered, like what, what would be like the big recommendation that you would make to somebody afterwards besides like, obviously like, you know, going and taking the program. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if they did take your program, I would recommend trust the process because it works. Um, but if they're not taking the program, I, I think, where I'm getting the most results from is that uh, the Google My Business, make sure that your Google My Business page is tight. You know, just go through all of the steps and, and, and just take as much time as you need and get that down. And then also what I'm finding is that, you know, I mentioned in the class is that uh, when I do a, a, a Google search, uh, my page, you know, is now ranking number one on the SERP, but in the images, my images are ranking pretty high. Even on the SERP page, there's a little section at the bottom where they show four images and two of those four images are from my website. Um, so there we go. So you can see it right there. You see two of my images right Whoa. there. And then you also, some of the images in there are gonna be um, like the kitchen images in there somewhere too. It's so like six or seven images are showing up on if you scroll all the way down. Um, Here it is. Yep, there you go. There's the house. And so, so what did you, what did you do for this, by the way? How did you get that to happen? I think what it was is that I, you know, I made sure my alt tags were correct and the descriptions were correct. I, I didn't leave any of those fields on uh, left blank. So the alt tag, the description, the um, caption, and and I also made sure that when I titled the image, when I was, you know, I brought it into Photoshop to size it and, and to optimize it, I made sure that the, the the name of the image had the keyword in it. In most cases, I'm not sure if in every case I have a keyword in the name of the image, but it's definitely in the alt tag. Okay. And then I also created a Facebook page um, and I put images on the Facebook page and I filled out all of the different services on the Facebook page. So you'll see some of these images are going to go to Facebook like that one. Exactly. That's still fine, though. So, I mean, it's still good. It still goes to a yeah. business. Exactly. So, and, you know, the contact information is there. So um, and all the different services that are offered are there as well. OK. And so. so just out of curiosity, like I think you said that you were getting leads already for this website. I, I'm getting emails. I've gotten about three or four emails oh my God. from people who were interested in a, a quote. And then I also got a, a phone call from um, one of those aggregate websites. I forget which one it was called, Home Advisor or something like that. Right, but that's uh, just because they recognize you were ranking high. Yeah, and they offered to send me leads for like $35 a lead. Right. Okay, that's crazy. And and the thing is, is that you know, as your citations start to kick in, as you as the website starts to kind of sit there, and, and Google realizes that you know this is a real business, you're going to see the site go up, like guaranteed. So, um, especially because you know you chose a pretty low difficulty keyword. Part of the assignment, by the way, for those of you who weren't in this, you know, we chose li like very low difficulty because the the big point of this, and this is why we're we're doing a sequel to the class is because once you get a site like Darren's ranking, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to use that to build, you know, SEO for electricians.com or whatever your brand is. So I'm telling everybody right now, if you have like an electrician website and you want to rank, don't contact me, go contact Darren, go contact somebody that's <laughs> already done it. I'm serious. Um, yeah. And anybody who, by the way, does want to contact Darren, uh, Darren, would, would you be willing to do an audit for anybody who, who would be interested, by the way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, so anybody who's interested, and this is kind of the other perk about you know uh, getting certified by me, is that you know if you guys are, are doing well in my in my classes and you follow the assignments and you and it works out, I'm gonna full on recommend you every single time. You know, Darren's a great example of somebody who followed exactly the the right layout. You know, he got the title tags perfect. He got the main keywords on the left, the qualifier on the right. He got the pages set up perfectly. Look at this. He even got the internal links pointing back to the homepage, just like you need to do that. He did everything correct, so I can safely say that you know this is somebody that I would recommend, and I, I don't do that with many people. I don't just go and recommend. There's so many people who hit me up all the time, like, "Hey Chase, can you? I want to work with you. I, you know, I I want to I want to get you know some SEO leads." And I go, "Well, you know what? I I can't recommend you because 
I don't know anything about you. So the people who actually fully do this, they go through the classes, they get the grade, they get the, uh, you know, Darren got an A+. Plus. I'm going to bring you on. I'm going to say, hey, look at, look at this guy. Look at what he did, you know, and look how it's working out for him. And so the other thing, Darren, is, you know, as we move forward with the national, now you can kind of create a story around this, right? You have your, um, you have your, your, the brand that you ranked, right? Okay, I'm Darren. I, I ranked this first uh, electrician site. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a brand around SEO for electricians. And what you can do with that is you start building that on a national level by doing content marketing, building an opt-in system. Obviously, if you can templatize what you're doing here, you know, just make a little spreadsheet. You know, oh, first I did this. You could even take the spreadsheet that we had in the program, change it over to you. This is what I did for an electrician website. Here's all the pages. You know, we have elect newhavenelectricians.com forward slash electrician services, just like we, you know, we said. And so. Uh, what you can do is you can take this exact layout, plug it into a spreadsheet, start giving it out. I guarantee you, if you had this spreadsheet with the opt-in system set up right now, all the people watching this video today would go and grab it. Like there would be so many people that would go and grab it and now you're already building an audience, you could easily start bringing in audits. Um, don't kick yourself because I, you know, you weren't prepared for it. Obviously I just kind of brought you on here, <laughs> but, um, and I'll bring you back. You know, I don't, I don't have a problem with that as soon as you make the checklist, but that's how you start getting, uh, start making a name for yourself and start out having people get, uh, contact you on an, in a national way. You want clients all around. You don't want, you don't just want clients in New Haven, right? You want SEO clients all around the world. And the way you get it, the way you get all these people coming in is you build the opt in, you get, you bring in the following, you use that following as a way to generate some authority for whatever your brand is, whether it's an electrician site, whether it's an SEO website whatever it is, and then you, you, you build relationships with people and then you start offering them things to bring them in as a client. You know, One thing that you can do um, is you can offer them audits. So uh, just like you would create a PDF or a handbook here, you could create sort of a you know checklist for SEO and then you say, hey, look, I'll run through this for your websites if you don't wanna do it yourself. And uh, you can just choose people that are qualified. You know, if they have a large enough budget, so on and so on. So we're going to be covering a lot more in the next one, how to actually generate all these clients with what you actually did here. But, you know, so far, I just want to say really good job. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy that, uh, that, you know, this worked out for you. Cool. Thank you. No, and thank you very much. Um, all right, Darren, I'm going to sign off here. I didn't have too much time. I actually got to go to the thrift store with my mom today. I, you know, okay. I have to have a normal life as well sometimes, but, um, uh, uh, anyways, Darren, uh, I'm going to see you very soon and, uh, send me a message if you need anything. Okay, I will. Thank you very much, Chase. All right, man. Good one. Thanks again. You, you too, babe. All right, guys. So thank you for joining today. Again, if you want to learn this stuff, you want to learn exactly what Darren did in order to rank number one for electricians in New Haven. And, you know, this he's not the only student. There's a bunch of other students that were able to do this, and they got, a, a, you know, a real-time training from me, live trainings for pennies that you, you know, pennies on the dollar. If you were to go take these classes in college right now, guess how much it would take if this was like a real, uh, you know, university class. Unfortunately, there is no university classes for SEO. I had to learn all this stuff myself. It took me five years of nonstop working. You can sign up right now. It, the enrollment ends in three days and you can literally get everything I've learned about this, everything that I talked about today, including the last classes that Darren took for, uh, what is it, $297? And if you really want to, you know, commit you could get the full system you can get everything um every single one of my courses over like 144 videos my paid templates my updates for those templates you get like basically lifetime access to anything i've already made for what 700 800 bucks that's like you know if you can't make 800 bucks back from this i don't know what's going on like this is i i i charge 800 dollars an audit and i get like five to six of these you know a month um, not only that, but you know, the stuff that I've been doing with the authority hacking, all the stuff that I do, uh, I've been bringing it in like 50 to $60,000 a month, almost nearly automated with all the things that I'm doing. You know, 